about your thoughts on the starting pitcher, Gio Arriaga, because it seems like he's got pretty good stuff. He's got very good stuff. But it just gets he gets squared up a lot. Is it, is it location, exactly. command? Is it the big mystery? Yeah. No. Fair enough. <laughs> you guys have any ideas? Well, the thing is, is he he uh, throws very well in the bullpen most of the time. Mm -hmm. And you watch the way he throws and the stuff that he throws, and it's like this guy should be just dominating this league. But for whatever reason during the games, I don't know if he can't control his emotions or you know the game speeds up on him or what. But for whatever reason, which we haven't been able to identify yet, you know, he's just been having a rough time. You know, heavy behind hitters. Uh, you know, I almost wish that he would just come right at guys. Maybe he's just trying to be a little bit too careful. I don't know. Um, Your guess is good as mine. Yeah, I wish I had a better answer. No, that's fine. You know, that's still it's illuminating to know that you guys are trying, and, and it's right. uh, it's tough. That's the. Like we always talk, every time I come in here, we talk about the mental side of the game and, and how important it is. Um, but yeah, since we're a prospect site, we, I, I kind of like to talk to you a little bit about some of the new guys that have shown up in the last month or so. Okay. Um, we'll start with, with Nick Quintana, who seems to be really fighting it right now um, uh, on both sides of the ball. That would be accurate as well. Yes, <laughs> that's kind of curious. <laughs> if you see anything there, you think he's tired from a long season? Well, you know, I, I imagine you could say, why well, I think this is happening or that's happening. I mean, he could be tired. You know, he's had a long collegiate season, uh, jumped right in here, and, you know, he doesn't look to me like he's tired. Mm -hmm. um, I watch him in pregame, you know, the guy's full of energy. Yeah. Um, he loves to play, loves to be out there, um, works just as hard as anybody. I uh, watch him take batting practice, bat doesn't look slow in BP. Um, for, you know, the, the thing is, that, you know, there's, a, obviously you follow the game, so you know that there's a, there's a difference between how you take BP and how you hit the game. It's a controlled environment. Coach is just, you know, basically throwing it in there for you. Um, he takes a fairly decent stride, normal stride in batting practice, and I think he just overdoes it. And his, you know, his, everything's moving too far forward during the game. We've been addressing that. And uh, that is not an easy fix, um, but we're working on it. I mean, we obviously we we identified what we feel is a problem. Um, it's up to him to make it happen. He's been working on it in BP, but again, BP is not the game. So, uh, typically in a situation like that, you know, a guy goes out. And I think you have to just give up almost and just say, I'm just standing here and try to see the ball, just react to it. Instead of you know trying to go out and get it, trying to go out and get it, just let it get there and just try to put the barrel on. And uh, usually when that happens, it's like something clicks. We've been waiting for that to click. It hasn't clicked yet. But uh, typically when that happens, guys take off. But you know they again they almost have to get to the end of themselves before it's just like all right. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I give up. I mean I've I've been there a number of times, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of other guys have. But, uh, you know, it's, it's just something that we continue to work on every day. It's not easy. I mean, it gets in your head and, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, my God, I can't do anything right. But, uh, yeah, do you think he might be taking that to the field a little bit? I was just going to say, because I, I saw he booted the ball earlier at third, but then he picked it up and, and did a nice, nice job. And coming from a person that you started at third base before you went to catcher, so is there something that, is he just kind of pressing too much a little bit? You well, think? I'm sure it's affecting his entire game. Do I know if it's, he's taking it out to the field with him? No, um, but you know he has, yeah, made, see uh, back. he has made quite a few errors, so you know I, I can't answer, I can't speak for him. Uh, you know I watch him. You know the ball that he made an error on tonight was one where he had to go to his left and he reached down, and you know it just didn't stay in his glove; it just mm -hmm. laid on the ground. Right there. So it's like always something. Yesterday he made a great play on a bunt. You know, came running in and feeling it barehanded and had to throw on the run. And, you know, it just happened that the ball and the runner got to the bag yeah. at the same time he hit the runner, carried it off. But then again, he made another error where he feel the routine ground ball, got his feet set, threw it, and threw it wide. So, do I have the answer to that? I do not. <laughs> and I, you know, I watch him out there every day, you know, taking ground balls and throwing it to first, throwing it to second. He's money every time. 
So it's like, you know, I, I don't know. It's, I know it's in him. Yeah. You know, he's a very good athlete. Yeah. You know, he's very athletic down there. He's got a great arm. And he's got good reflexes. But for whatever reason, it's like, man, his whole world's crashing in right now. So, yeah. well, welcome to the professional games. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Have fun. Uh, so what about a couple of the other infielders? you got Andre Lipschitz and, and Jack Kenley. Well, Andre is, uh, you know, he's kind of been a jack of all trades for us. I mean, they want him to play second base. You know, he, I think he played all three infield positions when he was in school. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had him at second, short, and third now. And he does a pretty good job everywhere he's been. Plus, he's been swinging the bat okay. So he's really, you know, helped us in that regard. Um, you know, he's not tearing the cover off, but he's getting his hits. Yeah. And, uh, I've, I've been impressed with wherever I play him. He seems to be pretty solid defensively. Makes the plays. You know, he probably doesn't have the range that some guys do, but he makes the plays on the balls he can get to. And, you know, the thing that I've been more impressed with than anything is his ability to make throws on the run, on mm -hmm. the move. Very accurate that way. Yeah, there was a play just the other day. So I, you know, I read all the scouting reports beforehand, and it's, this is the first time I've ever seen him in person. And the other day I was watching on TV, and it was a nice play. It went in the hole, raised the hole, threw it on the run, got the guy out. I'm like, no, this is the guy they're saying is, is slow of foot. It might have to play first base. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, you know, sometimes you can't believe those kind of parts. Well, I, I assume it just depends on who you're comparing yeah. to. I, I mean, there obviously are some guys that have a lot more range or a little bit quicker. But, you know, he makes, he might not make the ridiculous play, mm -hmm. but he makes most all the plays. You know, filled the ball in the hole today and, you know, flipped it and, you know, it was pretty much on the money from where he threw it from. Yeah. Even though he had to throw it off balance and side on. But, you know, that's just, he, for, he has a knack for, you know, whatever he releases it, guiding it to his target. So. And then Kenley, he seems to have gotten, uh, he's hitting pretty well, at least in his early going. Well, he was. Yeah. He was. Um, you know, for stretch there, he was hitting the ball out of the ballpark and put it into play. Um, but again, you know, the, the unfortunate thing is the way we've been going, you know, misery loves company. And, you know, uh, I think when, when you have a group of guys that are swinging the bats well, it gets contagious. And when everybody goes flat, everybody goes flat. And you know, you know, we'll spray a few hits in here and there, or maybe like Johnson hit a home run today. But for the most part, we just cannot put an inning together. And uh, I think that gives, you know, uh, it gives it gives the pitcher uh, a lot more freedom to pitch the way he wants to. But I really never put any pressure on too many pitchers here lately. And, mm -hmm. You know, you bet guys are swinging the bat and not swinging the balls. You know, they're, they're making the pitcher work for what you know, he's getting. It becomes a little different scenario. But when guys are up there swinging at everything and they're, you know, not taking good at bats or swinging and missing, and, you know, we struck out, I don't know how many times we struck out tonight, 10 times, we struck out 13 times last night. I mean, we just need to put the ball in play. So, I don't know if that answers your question about Jack. You know, the good thing is, is I've seen him you know, swing the bat pretty well, so I know it's him. You know, he's, he's done a decent job at second base. But, uh, you know, I'm just trying to get these guys reps right now. And, and I was hoping that when they all came here that their energy would kind of... Perk up a little bit, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know? yeah. And, and it might have for a little while, but we we're kind of settling back down now. And, uh, well, yeah, you've had a fair amount of pitcher injuries this year, too. I mean, Carlos Guzman, um, how long he's been out now? Since about mid, sure. mid, early May, yeah, something like that. Yeah, and he, he's probably not coming back this year. Well, I wouldn't think so. Yeah, they, nobody's enough about this, but um, well, we've made, you know, and that's typical. Yeah, I mean, it's not yeah. uncommon. I it mean, we like made a boatload of pitching changes last year. Moving yeah. guys up and moving guys down. Got some guys from the draft. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fairly at this level. It's commonplace with us. Yeah. Uh, and you mentioned Cooper Johnson, and I wanted to touch on him for a little bit because obviously you were a catcher, and he's a catcher. He's got a reputation for having a good glove and a big time arm. And he and does. Then, and then he went out there tonight and, and hit a nice uh, yeah. run shot. He's been solid. He's been solid as a rock back there. I mean, I've been very impressed with how athletic he is back there. He mm -hmm. blocks balls really well. Uh, you know, he the night before last, um, you know, he must have blocked six balls. And, and, 
balls in crucial situations where the pitcher had to bury pitches. He was down there scooping them, and, you know, keeping them in front of him. And, you know, that gives the pitcher at least a little more confidence that if he wants to throw a chase pitch down there, that he knows Cooper's going to get down there and block it. So from that perspective, I've been very, very pleased. He throws the ball well. He's got a good arm. He's accurate. And uh, he gets rid of it pretty well. So, you know, defensively, he's been everything I've been hoping. Yeah. And you know, for a guy that just came in here, he's kind of taken over. He's, he's a take charge guy. Yeah, and I, I appreciate that as well. So I'm, I was curious if we talked about him, I'm going to ask him if he got to call pitches uh, in college. Because a lot of times